Have you ever driven here in Hawaii and wondered how the street got its name? Well, every Thursday, or as we say in Hawaiian, po'aha, we have our weekly Aloha Authentic segment that shares the meanings, stories, and mo'olalo behind our various streets around our islands to help build connection between all of us and our island's history. This week, we dive into a commonly used street in the area of Aiea that carries the name of one of the most powerful women in Hawaii's history, her name being Queen Ka'ahumanu. Here in the Ahupua of Aiea, in the Moku of Eva here on Oahu, lies a street named in honor of the most favorite wife of King Kamehameha the Great, named Ka'ahumanu Street. Ka'ahumanu was a high chiefess born in Hana Maui to mother Namahana and father Ke'eo Moku Papa'iahiahi, which Ke'eo Moku Street here on Oahu is named after. Even though Ka'ahumanu did not have any children of her own, she was considered the guardian and foster mother of King Kamehameha's sons, Liho Liho Kamehameha II, and Kaui Keoli Kamehameha III. Right before King Kamehameha the Great had passed, Queen Ka'ahumanu herself alone says that the king had requested that she co-rule alongside the new king due to his young age and inexperience. Plus, her knowledge and experience alongside King Kamehameha the Great gave her much political power in the Kingdom of Hawaii. Uh, after consulting the Board of, Ad of Advisors, Queen Ka'ahumanu created a position for herself known as Kuhina Nui, which served similar to a regent or a prime minister. So during the reign of Hawaii's second king, it was really both Liho Liho, the king, and Ka'ahumanu who ruled Hawaii. Queen Ka'ahumanu is credited to being one of the most, if not the most, dominant vahine, or woman, in Hawaii's history. Did you know? Now you do. Very cool. Oh. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Bravo. That is so interesting. Okay, because of course so many of us drive on Ka'ahumanu, of course, and a lot of people don't even think about the history behind it. So you say Ka'ahumanu was the uh, King Kamehameha the Great's favorite wife. How many wives did he have? Try to take a guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Five? Twenty-one. <laughs> I was a little off. 21 wives. That's, that's a lot. And to paint a picture, of, at least for Ka'ahumanu, <laughs> she was about six feet tall and over 300 pounds. Wow, okay. But, I mean, back in the day, that was normal, right? <laughs> the bigger you were, the more aloha and beautiful you were yeah. in Hawaiian Hey, eyes. still though, still. <laughs> okay, so what was probably the most memorable thing that she did during the reign of King Kamehameha II? So, before that, there was what we called the Aikapu, which was a traditional system that uh, forbid a lot of things, but included men and women eating together. Ka'ahumonu alongside Keopuolani, who's the biological mother of King Kamehameha II, mm -hmm. both sat down with Liholiho himself to eat. In that action, they were abolishing that aikapu, and uh, Queen Ka'ahumonu had a really big role to play in not just the Aikapu system, but other things like Christianity as well. Okay, and speaking of, of uh, King Kamehameha the Great believed in the ancient Hawaiian belief system, which mm -hmm. really includes many gods. So Queen Ka'ahumanu then didn't follow that? Not so much. When the missionaries arrived and they brought forth their Christian god, she embraced it a lot. Mm -hmm. And she actually was one of the first ali'i to be converted to Christianity and also the first ali'i, I believe, who was given a Bible at really? uh, Kauai Ha'o Church, if not a, a Bible that was translated in Hawaiian. And even through her rule, she had created a lot of rules and laws as she reigned that were very um, inspired by the Christian faith and, and also the Ten Commandments. So she also urged her people to be baptized in the Christian faith as well as she did. And when she was baptized, she took on the English name of Elizabeth. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. that's when the name changed. Elizabeth okay. Ka'ahumanu. Ka'ahumanu. Okay, good to know. Um, so when King Kamehameha passed, did she ever remarry? She actually did, and this was really due to strategic purposes. But after, so before King Kamehameha had passed, he had conquered all the islands. The mm -hmm. only islands he actually did not conquer through war was the islands of Kauai and its subject, the island of Niihau. Their ali'i, who's the name of um, Kaumuali'i, had uh, forfeited their sovereignty to King Kamehameha, which eventually led the islands to be under one rule. When Kamehameha had passed, Queen Ka'ahumanu was fearful that uh, Kaumuali'i would then break up and go on their own separate ways. So he, her, alongside with Liho Liho, had um, kidnapped Kaumuali'i and forcefully married him along with Ka'ahumanu to secure their union. Wow. Yeah. So strategic. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, understood, understood. Cool, well, thank you for that knowledge. Mahalo. Ka'ahumanu. So what's next week? Kina'u. 
Kina. Oh, um, Kalama, oh. we did Kina. Yeah, we did that uh, last Liliha. week. Liliha. 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 Okay. There's so much Ali'i that we, we want to get done. So. <laughs> All right. Excited for that. Thanks so much, Kamaka. Mahalo. <laughs>